What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode here at The Stable. I am your host, Rookie Pilot. We've done quite a bit of upgrades to the 66 behind us, including safety, comfort, and cosmetic. Today's install is going to be a safety upgrade and depending on who you ask, a cosmetic upgrade as well. And that is these hood pins. These pins will stop your hood from flying open while you're driving down the road, which has happened to me before in Little Blue. The owner had asked me a couple weeks ago if I was nervous to do this, and at the time I had said no. But now that I'm actually doing it, I'm just a little nervous. A little nervous because if I do mess up, I'm buying a brand new hood and repainting it. But we're not gonna do that, we're not gonna mess up. So other than that, let's get started. So the location for our new hood pins is going to be the factory hood stop because that's the way Sir Shelby would have done it. Also, we're not throwing these away yet. We are going to reuse and relocate them. Got to take that little guy out. All right, so now that we have our bumpers off, I'm going to use a stepper bit to upsize this hole to half an inch. Right, so our hood pin, hood pin now fits. Okay, so I'm gonna install the pin now so we can get an idea of where we need to cut in the hood. One thing to mention before we start marking our holes is uh, you want to note the orientation of the pin. You don't want both pins to face towards each other or face away from each other. Sort of want them parallel to each other. So in some cases you might have to tweak the bracket to orient it one way or another, but lucky enough today's not that day. So in order to mark the location for our hole, we're going to set the hood down on the pin. We could pretty pretty easily see where we have to drill. So what I'm going to do is use a paint marker and put a bit of paint on the tip of that pin. So once I put it down, we have an exact location where we should drill. All right, we're at the point of no return. We're gonna start drilling. Sizing up. All right, so we have the hole drilled out to about half an inch. So now we're just gonna check our location again. And it looks pretty damn spot on. So we're gonna keep on widening that hole. So the hole has been drilled out to about half an inch. Now we're gonna test the fitment and it goes right in there. Hell yeah, we're looking very good. Okay, so checking our fitment one more time. That pin goes right in. Hell yeah. So I put some masking tape on the outside of the hood and we're gonna use the same paint marker trick that we did earlier. Just put it right at the top. We're gonna close our hood. And now we have our mark. We now have our hole marked. I'm using my Odelphi headlamp in order to see in the hole while still be able to have one hand on the drill and one hand on the hood. All right. Some people might say I should have drilled it from the outside in, but it's not gonna matter at the end of the day because we're using a stepper drill bit and we're drilling it to about seven eighths. I'm going to enlarge the hole a tad using a regular bit um, just because I'm not the biggest fan of stepper bits. This feels so wrong. There we go and she's through. 
we're going to enlarge the hole a tad just so it won't have that much friction due to the angle of the pin. All right, now it's pretty damn good. I don't feel any resistance. That's good. All right, so with our hole made, now we're going to mark our holes for the top plate. I used to work at the maintenance shop of a flight school and the uh, lead mechanic there, he would always yell at me for not keeping the drill and the drill bit steady. And I thank him now because now I have the confidence to keep it steady. But back then, I used to be like, why is this old man always yelling at me? But he taught me a lot of things that I still use today. Shout out to Ben. If anyone was wondering if these are white, they are not. gonna test out our pin mechanism. Hell yeah. But the hood sits a little lower than our fender, so we're gonna pull the pin up just a bit. All right, we pulled the pin back up a tiny bit and now our hood is leveled with our fender, so we're pretty good. So now's the point where we choose a location to secure the tether that'll keep you from losing this little locking pin. I've seen cars run with or without this tether, um, but it's just preference. Personally, I think it's kind of cool. It feels like it gives the car some whiskers, but there is a couple different locations where you can mount this tether. I have normally seen it at the end of the grill, but this one having an aftermarket grill, uh, it looks like that's not gonna work in our case. So instead, we're gonna use this hole on the radiator core support. This hole was originally for the clips that hold the wiring harness in, but that clip has deteriorated a long time ago. Now we get to see the hood mechanism in action. This is a modification I will definitely be putting on number three, because like I said, I've had a hood open on me in these cars before, and it was not fun. All right, we have one side down. Now we just gotta do the other side. Three, two, one. So remember we said not to throw the old bumpers away. That's because we're gonna replace the first fender bolt with the bumper and adjust accordingly. We're going to test it out and if it's too high or too low and that looks just perfect. Let's see. That's a little too high. Okay, let's try this again. All right, that is perfect. With the tension that that bumper is providing, it's slightly holding the hood up while this is pulling it down. So this hood is now super secure. I gotta say, these hood pins look pretty damn good. The install wasn't too bad either. It wasn't as 
nerve-wracking as I thought it would be. Using that paint marker trick made it not a guessing game, therefore making it a lot easier to do this. But now we have a more aggressive look on this 66 as well as an added safety feature. Let me know what you guys think of this mod. I personally like it and I think I'm gonna do it on number three. If you guys wanna support the channel, the link to our Patreon is in the description as well as the link to get our rookie tees. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you guys on the next one.